In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can subtract integers. As we do, we want to remember that a subtraction sign, or the hyphen symbol, we have said is the same as two other things, negative and the same as an opposite sign. This idea that subtraction is the same as an opposite sign is going to be what makes subtraction so simple to do. Instead of thinking about subtracting a number, we're going to think about it as we are adding the opposite of a number. To subtract, we will always actually add two numbers. We will add the opposite. This means we will make two adjustments to every problem. We'll change it to addition, and then we'll take the opposite of the next number. For example, if we have negative 6 minus negative 4, we can think of that middle subtraction sign as an opposite sign. We're combining the opposite of negative 4. To show this, we will change it to an addition problem, first step, and the second step, the opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. Adding the opposite, two adjustments, change it to addition, and then take the opposite of the next number. Now, looking at this problem, you see we have negative 6 plus positive 4 now. And we can add these together, just like we would add any other problem together that had different signs. The larger sign, the, si the larger number, 6, keeps the sign, negative, and then we subtract to see how many negatives are left. 6 minus 4 is 2. We're left with negative 2 for our solution when we add the opposite. Let's take a look at one more example where we add the opposite in order to find our solution. Here, we have negative 7 minus 3. Again, instead of subtracting, we will change it to an addition problem by adding plus the opposite. The opposite of the 3 is a negative 3. We could think about this now as negative 7 plus negative 3, adding the parentheses just so we don't get confused with all the signs. And now we can add these numbers together the same way we added two negatives together before. Two negatives give you more negative, 7 and 3, a total of 10 of these negatives. Negative 7 minus 3 is negative 10. Using this simple trick to add the opposite, we will find that we will never actually subtract, but we will change every subtraction problem into an addition problem by adding the opposite. 